Iranian leaders have warned the world is closer to regional war in the Middle East. Iran leans on proxy militias around the region from its axis of resistance to launch limited strikes, according to experts. Iranian leaders have warned the world is closer to a regional war in the Middle East and that Israel has crossed red lines, which in the words of their president may force everyone to take action. But Iran is walking a tightrope, keen to avoid a direct confrontation and therefore blurring its red lines to avoid walking into a trap. Instead, it leans on proxy militias around the region from its axis of resistance to launch limited strikes aimed at Israel and U.S. military bases in Iraq and Syria. But the use of proxy forces, chief among them Hezbollah in Lebanon, but also Hamas in Gaza, has been a trademark of Iranian foreign policy. Iran says that while it supports such resistance forces, they act independently. But let's take a look at who Tehran's proxies are, beginning with Lebanon. Well, Hezbollah has often described as the jewel in the crown, with its longtime spiritual leader, Hassan Nasrallah. Hezbollah has both a political party and a military force that has, over three decades, built a relationship with Iran founded on trust and mutual interest. Its campaign of attacks, bombings, hijackings and direct military confrontations with Israel in the 1990s and 2000s has served Tehran's strategic objectives in the Middle East without any direct military confrontations with Israel. Since the 7th of October, the rocket fire from southern Lebanon has increased as we have been reporting and Hezbollah fighters have been killed. But do keep in mind, Iran would be reluctant to commit to a second war such as the one in 2006 that devastated Lebanon. Next up, Yemen. At little cost to itself, Iran has been providing weapons to the Shia Houthi rebel forces that has tied down Saudi Arabia and to a lesser extent the United Arab Emirates for years. As far as Syria is concerned, Syria's president Bashar al-Assad owes his survival to Iran since Iran supplied the ground forces as many as about 80,000 men, many from Hezbollah, that in conjunction with Russian Air Force crushed the uprising. In fact, a study by the Josor Center showed Iran had 98 military sites just in eastern Syria. And Iraq. Well, the powerful Iran-backed Shia paramilitary Nujaba movement has criticized the opposition of the Iraqi prime minister to attacks on U.S. military bases in the country, claiming there is sufficient legal and religious authorization for resistance. But there is a strong constituency inside Iraq, mainly a younger generation, that want Iranian influence to end.